I encourage you to stay tuned. I encourage you to stay tuned. We are very sorry for the network issue. It seems it's restored. This prayer, this prayer continues. Yes, thank you, Victor. God bless my brother. The network is fair now. It's fair now. It's fair. We are trying different networks. It seems, seems. Seems it's fair now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. The network is back. It's back. Thank you for that. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's continue to press in. Let's pray. Let's continue to press in. Hallelujah. Pastor Adiola, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The network is mad. Devil is a liar. Samuel and your love, brother, it's good to know that you are there. Thank you for your time. This is sacrifice. It's sacrifice. Oh, God, if you love me, I will go in me. 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 Hallelujah, in Boni Fumaba. Hallelujah. Oh, you're going to have a welcome back. I'm going to have a welcome God bless you. Welcome back. Mommy, I'm going to have a Lord bless you. It's good to know that you are there. Family is to know for God bless you. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Every appointment. Appointment with that concerning you is cancelled. It's cancelled in 2022. It's cancelled in 2022. That we pray again on timely death. God reigns. Oh my energy, yes. God reigns. We bless the Lord. Mommy Arita, thank you, ma. You shall go away. Oh, my shame to me. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I shall leave. You declare this. Confess it with your mouth. It's a personal confession. I shall leave. I shall leave. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. Can I hear you say amen that I shall leave? We want to pray. Our prayer focus for tonight our prayer for God for tonight is to rebuke. Rebuke the spirit of death. Premature death. Untimely death. Hallelujah. Everything that happens to him man, is supposed to be to the glory of God. So, if we live, then it's to the glory of God. If we die, it's to the glory of God. Excuse me, the kind of death 
The kind of death that will bring glory to God. Untimely death will not be bring glory to God. Praise the Lord. I shall not die but live. Praise the Lord. We are praying against the spirit of death. Untimely death for in 2022. Every appointment, every appointment, every appointment with death concerning you is cancelled. It's cancelled. Is cancelled in the name of Jesus. It's only the living, it's only the living, it's only the living that can do things. It is when you are alive, then you have hope. It's when you have life that you have hope. Ecclesiastes says a living dog is better than a dead lion. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4. Bible says a, a, a living dog, a living dog is better than a dead lion. Can you compare the strength of dog to that of lion? But when lion dies, he dies with his power. He dies with his strength. But a living dog, with their alive, there is hope for the living. Praise Jesus. God is not interested in untimely death. God is not interested in untimely death. In Genesis chapter 6, in Genesis chapter 6, when God was annoyed, when God was annoyed with activities of human, even then in chapter 6 verse 3, Bible says, God says, his year, his years, that is, the years of man will be 120. 120. Excuse me, God is not interested that man dies young. Even the wicked, even the wicked, Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 11, Bible says, as I live, I have no interest, I have no, I, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. In the, in the, even, even the wicked, God, God desires that a wicked turns from the evil way to the good way. Praise the Lord. And somebody will now say that, okay, Jesus Christ died. Jesus Christ died at the age of 33. Excuse me, Jesus Christ didn't die. You know, the death of Jesus was part of the redemption process. It was part of the redemption process. Everything, everything had been pre-planned. He lives forever. He lives forever. So, that was why that was why, you know, when he died, he had said it. He had said that, that he would be crucified. Then the third day he will rise. Then, that is, he will, he, he, he will take charge. He will take power, he will take authority from the power. Yes. And he did. Glory be to God. Glory be to God for the work of reception, redemption. Glory be to God for the power of resurrection. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a blessing of God that you live long. It's a blessing of God that you live long. Hallelujah. Now, Psalm 91. Psalm 91 verse 16. This is what the Bible says. With long life will I satisfy you. God will satisfy you. God will satisfy you with long life. God will satisfy you. Can I hear you saying amen? That God will satisfy you. With, God will satisfy you with long life. Imagine the word satisfaction. When you are, you are, you are satisfied you are satisfied with anything when you have you oh I don't need any more. I don't need any of this more. Oh, I'm satisfied. I am satisfied. I'm satisfied. When somebody, when you say somebody is satisfied, it does not mean he had exactly exactly what you wanted. It does not mean he had exactly what you wanted. Excuse me, if you if you have exactly what you wanted, you may not have been satisfied. But satisfaction comes when you have and you have to left over. When you have and you have to left over. That's what we call satisfaction. So many that the plan of God for you here is for you to have long life that you must have, you, you must have lived. To so you say that you said, oh, I don't need it anymore. I'm satisfied. That is the purpose of God for you. And that will come to pass. That will be fulfilled for you. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. The Lord says he will satisfy you with long life. Praise the Lord. So it's a blessing of God. It's a, it's a blessing of God for man to live long. And that is why, that is why the psalmist in Psalm 102, in Psalm 102 verse 24, that is why the man prayed. The man prayed. Because when he was pass, passing through some situations, when he was passing through some situations, he cried to God. He cried to God, Psalm 102, 102 verse 24. I said, oh my God, excuse me, pray this prayer with me. I said, oh my God, take me not away in the midst of my days. In the midst of my day. 
take me, take me not away in the midst of my days, in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. He has the power. He has, he has everlasting years. God has everlasting years. And the writer of this Psalms was saying, was praying, Lord, take me not away. Do not take me away. Do not take me away in the midst of my days. That is at my prime age. At my prime age. If this man was praying against, he was praying against untimely death. And the same vein, we are praying against untimely death. Listen to me. Every appointment, every appointment with death concerning you is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Share this, share this broadcast as much as you can. Share this broadcast as much as you can. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God was not happy. In the case, in the case of Cain, Cain died prematurely. God was not happy. God was not happy. It was, it was, it was clearly stated. God was not happy in Genesis chapter 4. God was not happy. He wasn't happy. He wasn't happy with what happened. Praise Jesus. Now, in the case of Nebot, Nebot died without fulfill, without, without fulfilling, without fulfilling his destiny in life. God was not happy. God, so, you know, what, what, what this means is that it's possible. It's possible for another, for, for another power, for another day to take away life. Does not mean that God was happy about it. Praise Jesus. And I say that God will not permit untimely deaths concerning you and your family in 2022 in the name of Jesus. You have declared, you have declared that you shall live. You shall live, you shall live in the name of Jesus. In 2022, in 2022, in 2022, there will be a series of deaths, but that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. King Hezekiah, King Hezekiah, God, you see, somebody will say that, okay, um, if it comes, it comes. Excuse me, you can't go now, you can't go now. I will give you two instances, I will give you two instances whereby a man, a man could be qualified to go. A man could be qualified to the two instances. But then, listen to this. Ezekiah, Ezekiah in Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 38, Bible says the man was sick. The man was sick, and God told Isaiah, the prophet of the day, God told Isaiah, the prophet of the day, that he would, that he would, he, 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 he would not get healed, he would not get healed from the sickness, he was going to die. He was going to die. So that's a personal, it's a personal confession. You can hear the psalmist say that I shall not die. It's a personal confession. I shall not die. You will not die in the name of Jesus. So on the man, the prophet told him, the prophet told him, Oh, oh king, this is the word, this is the, this is the word of God for you. You are going to die. And the man was not, he wasn't ready. Can somebody can somebody say, I'm not ready to go now? Why are you saying that? I am not. Amen. Amen. We are back again. Back again. But this guy already was not ready to go. I told him that we were going to die. He was not ready to go. The same thing, I want you to say it. I'm not ready to go. I am not ready to go. God bless you. I can hear you. I can hear you say that. Ready to go. Praise the Lord. He was not ready to go. God had told him. Amen. And he told him. It wasn't God that said that all these men will not die. It was he rejected it. He rejected it. He rejected it. You, you, you have, you have this 
opportunity. You have the privilege as a child of God. You have the privilege as a child of God to reject that. Yes, that. Yes, I need to go. Now, I've said it again. In Jesus, you will not die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. In the name of Jesus. The man said he was not ready. He was not ready. And he told God, God, <coughs> Father, I wasn't ready. That it wasn't time for me to go. I can't go now. I can't go now. He talked to God. <laughs> and God told, told Isaiah. Isaiah, you were the one that went to that man to deliver, to deliver that prophecy. You were the one that went to deliver the message. It, was, it is you that you go back again to tell him, to tell him that I have changed. I have changed the plan. I have changed the system. I have stopped that. I have stopped that. I have stopped that for him. I have stopped, stopped that. In the same way, God will stop that concerning your life, your family, your home. Everything that concerns you, God will stop that. The power that stops that concerning Ezekiel will stop that for you. I'm praying, I'm saying this, even, even if there was a plan that we, you are going to die, God will stop it. I want to go to brothers, that's our prayer focus for tonight. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Bible says that death, Bible says death to be enemy, enemy, enemy. Bible declared death to be enemy. Praise Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 26. Bible says, death is an enemy. Death is an enemy. An enemy. That's what Bible says. Death is an enemy. So, if there's anything, is there anything that will aid your death? Before this session, before this prayer session, anything that we that we aid your death, you will receive divine intervention. Receive correction. Divine correction. Now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, you know, I said that somebody who said, oh, we will know, we will die, we will die. But there are, then there are two instances. There are two instances. One, number one is that you, have, you must have been satisfied. You must have been satisfied with this. You must have been fulfilled in life. You must have been fulfilled in life. Excuse me, until you are fulfilled in life, you are not ready to go. I'm saying this on your behalf. You are not ready to go until you are fulfilled. Until 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 you are satisfied. You are satisfied. You lived long enough that you say, "Oh, I'm satisfied." Praise the Lord. Instance is that is when you have when you when you discuss every plan that you have, you are fulfilled. Every you have achieved. Every prophecy concerning you have been fulfilled. Praise the Lord. Like, let's look at this. Let's look at, at, the, at the story of somebody, somebody who was waiting, who was waiting for a to come to pass in his lifetime. And then thereafter, then, well, let, let, let's look Luke. Well, we want to read from the book of St. Luke. St. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. I start reading from 5. Start reading from verse 25. And behold, there was a man. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem. There was a man in Jerusalem. His name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. Verse 26, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost. He did not see death, that he would not die, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Now that was a prophecy. It was a prophecy. It was a prophecy for him. This man had got this prophecy. He had got this promise that he would not die until on, on, until Christ on, on, on the Christ comes. He will not die until until Israel, Israel was consoled. He will not die. It was a pro, it, it was a prophecy. And this man was waiting. This was the only thing he was waiting for again. This was the only thing he was waiting for. Praise the Lord. And verse 27 says, If they say, okay, at this juncture, let me pray for you. Every good promise of God for your life will come to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, verse 27, and he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law. You know, this man wasn't in the temple, but they brought Jesus Christ, they brought Jesus Christ to perform the normal rites. As a male child, as a first male child, now, to, to, to perform the normal rites at the temple, they brought Jesus Christ. But Bible says by the Spirit, by the Spirit, this man wasn't there, but the Spirit of God led him there. In the same vein, the Spirit of God will lead you aright in 2022 in the name of Jesus. And he came by the Spirit into the temple when, he, when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law. Verse 28. Mm -hmm. Then took he him up in his arms. This man now took, he took this young Jesus, the infant Jesus, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, Amen, Lord, now let thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Now, verse 34, my eyes I have seen thy salvation. This is what I've been waiting for. This is, the, this is what I've been waiting for. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for somebody. Before you go, before you go, every your aspiration, every of your aspiration, you will achieve in the name of Jesus. You will achieve. You will achieve your purpose in life. You will be fulfilled in life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you'll be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. You see, now that we are going to pray. But then let me add this. Let me add this. You know, we are talking, we are talking about what God can do. God can do all this for his children. And if you are asking God to keep you alive, now the question now is this. Does your living, does your living profit God? And if God spares your life, will your continued living profit God? Remember what Ezekiah says. Ezekiah told God, this is what I'll be doing. This is what I'll be doing for you, God. Excuse me, children of God in 2022, ensure that you serve God ever than before. God has said that 2022, God will beautify the life of, people, of his people. 2022 is going to be a year of reward. It's going to be a year of reward for those people that faithfully serve him. And it's going to be a year of reward for the wicked in 2022. So, now, remember, remember that our confession um, verse. What, 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 what we confessed with our mouths that we shall live, we, we shall not die, but we live. We shall not die, but live. Now, what comes after? To declare the works of God. God has not spared your life so that you continue your wicked, your wicked attitudes. God has not spared your life, excuse me, God has not spared your life to continue immoralities. Now, you know, the psalmist says, I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. If God, if God Spears your life. And that will be so for you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Don't forget. Excuse me, do that. Do that. It's only his children. It's only his children, his sons and daughters that can talk to him directly. Devil, if you are not a child of God, devil wants to kill you prematurely. You know, devil will want to kill you prematurely. Devil will not want you to live long so that you won't, you won't reason. So that is why devil takes people away at their prime age. At their prime age. So, as we are praying this prayer, excuse me, you must be ready to serve God. You must be ready to serve God ever than before in 2022. Ever than before in 2022. Remember the man that was waiting. Remember the man that wanted, that wanted to live long. Remember the man that, that is Simon, Simon in Jerusalem. Remember that man. 
Remember that man that was waiting. You know what was he waiting for? He was waiting for the consolation of Israel. You know, if you want to live long, it's not that you live long so that you'll be doing things that we oppose, that we against, that will negate the, the works of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Share this video as much as you can. Share this broadcast as much as you can. The Lord bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray together. We are going to pray together. We are going to pray together. Excuse me, wherever you are. Well, be sincere about this. Be sincere about this. Be sincere about this. There will be serious of death in 2022, but they do come your way in 2022 in the name of Jesus. You won't die in the name of Jesus. You will be fulfilled before you go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, before we run off, before we run off the session, let's pray. Let's glorify God. Thank God for keeping me alive till now. It's God that has been keeping you alive till now. Thank God for keeping me alive till now. Thank God for He has power. He has power to control it. He can stop him. He stopped him in the case of his guy. He can stop him. He can stop him. Now, let's glorify God. Wherever you are, start glorifying God. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank God for keeping you alive. Thank you. Thank God for He has ability to prolong your days. He has ability to prolong your days. Thank him for this ability. Glorify him. When you want to take something from God, you glorify him. You thank him for, and you let you acknowledge his power to do that. You acknowledge his power to do that. Thank God for, he has power to prolong your days. He has ability to stop death for you. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us alive to now. Lord in heaven, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your power. You have ability to prolong our days. According to your word that you are going to give, we are going to satisfy us with long life. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him when we want to take something from God. We appreciate him for his ability to do that thing. Father, we thank you for keeping us alive. Let's glorify him. Let's continue to thank him. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We glorify you. We glorify you. Father, we glorify you. Lord, we glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Father, we thank you for keeping us alive till now. There are so many people like us that have gone. They have gone on time. They have died. They have died prematurely. But we are alive because you have kept us. King of glory, we thank you. Let's glorify him. Let's thank him. Let's continue to praise his name. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in the name of Jesus. You want to pray. Whatever sin, whatever sin, that will cause premature death in my life. Lord, sin kills. Sin kills. It is not God that kills, but sin kills. Sin kills. Ask God, Lord, forgive me. Cleanse me of all my iniquities. All my iniquities. Cleanse me. You know, cleanse me from all my iniquities. You know, I have said it earlier in our previous broadcasts that if the devil wants to do something, he takes permission from God. He takes permission from God. Then pray to God that whatever sin that may allow death to work, to operate in my life, in my home, in my family. Lord, forgive in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive in the name of Jesus. Forgive all of my sins, forgive all of my iniquities in the name of Jesus. Forgive all my iniquities in the name of Jesus. Forgive all my trespasses, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, be merciful to me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Then we want to ask, according to your word, Father, satisfy me. That's why we will say it. According to your word, according to your word, Father, satisfy me with long life. 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 Can I, can I hear you pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. According to your word, satisfy me. Satisfy me with long life in the name of Jesus. Satisfy every member of my household. Excuse me, continue to pray. Continue to remember the members of your household in this prayer. Father, satisfy us. Satisfy us. Satisfy us. Lord, satisfy us with long life in the name of Jesus. Satisfy us 
satisfy us with long lives in the name of Jesus. Satisfy us with long life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. There was prophecy that Simon will see the Lord Jesus Christ before he dies. That was a prophecy. And the man was waiting for the prophecy to be fulfilled. There are so many people, there are so many prophecies, there are so many people that have died without the without prophecies being fulfilled in their lives. And that will not be your portion. That will not be my portion. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. I will be fulfilled in my lifetime. That's what I want you to pray for. Lord, give me the grace to be fulfilled in my lifetime. In my entire lifetime, Lord, give me grace to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, I pray. Lord, give me grace to be fulfilled in my, in my, in my, in my entire life in the name of Jesus. Give me grace to be fulfilled. Give me grace to be fulfilled in my entire life in the name of Jesus. Give me grace to be fulfilled in my entire life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Whatever we connect, whatever we join together that will lead to my death, Father, forgive me. Father, remove now in the name of Jesus. Whatever that will come together, be it sickness, be it sickness, be it accident, any occurrence that will lead to my death, I cancel now. I cancel now. Any occurrence that will lead to my death, I cancel now in the name of Jesus. Any occurrence that will lead to my death, I cancel now in the name of Jesus. Continue to cancel, continue to cancel any occurrence that will lead to your death. Continue to cancel in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, every occurrence that will lead, will lead to our death. Father, cancel in the name of Jesus. Cancel now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now pray again. Pray again that 2022 will not be the last year you are going to celebrate on earth. For those of you that you are not ready, pray this prayer. As God said, he was not ready. In the same vein, I am not ready. You, you have said it before, you are not ready. Then for those of you that you are not ready, tell God that 2022 will not be the last year that I'm going to witness, that I'm going to, I'm going to celebrate on the planet Earth. 2022 will not be my final year. 2020 will not be my final year in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, we pray that 2022 will not be our final year in the name of Jesus on earth. 2022 will not be our final year on earth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, King of Glory, we thank you. We appreciate you for, and for, for giving us this grace. Father, despite all itches, we thank you for we can still continue. Lord in heaven, receive praises in the name of Jesus. Father, according to your word, we have declared, we shall not die, but we will live to declare your words. Father, let be, this be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, we are asking according to your word. Your word says that you will satisfy us, we, that we love you. We, those people that love you, because that, that prophecy, that promise was for people that love God. We that will, we love you, we that we are your children. Father, you have promised that you will satisfy us with life. Let this be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, satisfy us with long life in the name of Jesus. Satisfy us with life in the name of Jesus. Everything that we connect together that will lead to death is, it will not connect in the name of Jesus. For all our loved ones, for families, the Lord will protect us. The Lord will keep us. If there is any mark of death upon anybody, I stand as an oracle of the Lord Jesus Christ and I cancel now in the name of Jesus. And I cancel now. I cancel and I remove by the blood of Jesus. I wipe, I wipe away, I wipe away completely any mark of death upon anybody's life in the name of Jesus. You shall live in the name of Jesus. You shall live in the name of Jesus. Every appointment you have with death is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every appointment made on your behalf, every appointment made on your behalf with death is cancelled in the name of Jesus. It's cancelled in the name of Jesus. You shall live. You shall not die in the name of Jesus. You shall live. You shall not die in the name of Jesus. You shall live. You shall not die in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We thank you once again. Lord in heaven, be the excellent Lord in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen.
Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's how far we'll be able to go tonight. We thank God. We thank Him. We thank Him for He has made it possible for us. Call our lady today. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Adiola, God bless you, man. God bless you for staying tuned. Oluwa told you that God bless you. Uh, Pastor Tunde Popola, God bless you, sir. God bless you. We have won the battle. We have won the battle. You will not die. You will not die. That is the voice of God for you. That is the word of God for you. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. This prayer continues tomorrow. I want to really, I really, really appreciate you for staying tuned. For staying tuned. You were not discouraged. You were not discouraged with that poor transmission. You are not discouraged. Honestly, God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. You will not die. You will not die. God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Fabuide from Italy. God bless you, sir. God bless you. You will not die. You will not die. I will not mourn any of you in the name of Jesus. I will not mourn any of you. Because 2020, 2020 is our year of celebration. And that do not celebrate. It's only living that celebrate. We will celebrate in 2022 in the name of Jesus. No. You will not lose your husband. You will not lose your wife. You will not lose your children in 2022 in the name of Jesus. Everybody that is planning, planning evil against you in 2022, in 2022, will see fierce judgment of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you for staying tuned. Tomorrow is another time. It's another time. 12 midnight in Nigeria time. We have crept in. We have crept in into midnight. In some parts of the world now. We glorify God for that. We glorify God that now. No. The covenant of death has been cancelled and been destroyed for your life. In the name of Jesus. You will live. You will live. Flag of death has been torn. Flag of death has been torn. Shed God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Flag of the death has been torn. Flag of life. It's not fly, flying. It's flying. It's flying for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. We are trying to improve on the we have been doing series of things since the beginning of this uh, spiritual exercise knowing fully that devil devil has so many strategies but then I thank you I commend you for this is a big sacrifice very big sacrifice when you are supposed to sleep you didn't sleep it's a big sacrifice I congratulate you for that I congratulate you for that. Because the result is going to be enormous. It's going to be enormous. You will live. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is another day. Excuse me. Share this broadcast as much as you can. Share this broadcast as much as you can. And by the grace of God, to watch this is available again. It's available. You can watch. You can watch. You can watch. If there's any any of us that miss this broadcast, you can watch on YouTube. On YouTube. Or you go back to United Apostolic Church of Christ Worldwide Facebook page, you can rewatch again. You can watch again. Then you can go to United Apostolic Church of Christ YouTube. Then you find this. It will be uploaded to the YouTube. Thank you once again. Everyone, I, I acknowledge your presence. I'm glad that you were there. I'm glad that we have good time together. And now the video places, please, we can continue with our prayers. Till tomorrow, when we shall meet again. Remain, 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 remain permanently blessed. Remain permanently blessed in the name of Jesus. One
Thank you. We are ending the broadcast now. We are ending so to allow to allow some of us to continue with our individual prayers. God bless you. 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 Daddy Akiloye. The Lord bless you, sir. I chase our Waku and you know I push your Luasa from London. God bless you, Daddy. God bless you. Thanks for your prayers, sir. Thanks for your prayers. I I am glad you are there, sir. The Lord bless you, sir. The Lord bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are ending the broadcast now to continue our individual prayers. Ogoni foru kare, iyi ola ogoni fina.